Welcome, welcome, welcome to our last episode in Gove and in East Arnhem Land. Well, I don't know, we may do one on the way, depends how eventful it is. Um, but yeah, that's it, we're done, we're leaving East Arnhem. It's seven o'clock in the morning, we've got a 10 hour drive all the way through to Catherine. I think, I think the road's okay, the grade has been on it. We haven't had any rain, so it's about 740 k, so we should be fine. But six months, would you believe it? Six months flown by. And so I would be doing it with Tanya, but she's in the car because she had a bit of a bit of a do last night and she got home at about two o'clock and she's had about three hours sleep. <laughs> so she is gonna have the trip from yeah anyway. Um, but I had a good night's sleep and I've had about I've punched about three coffees this morning, so hit it strong and hit it fast. But anyway, this episode is our last three weeks in Nullanboy. Some, probably one of the most amazing free camps we've done, like top five for sure. Um, Memorial uh, Park is just absolutely amazing. And you know, out the boat, a few other bits and bobs. So anyway, enjoy. Good morning. Good morning. Guess where we are? We are back at Rainbow Cliffs. Back uh, just on the outskirts of Nullanboy. Now, I need to talk about something. This is one of the mysteries in life that I don't understand. So we've been here, um, we flew in on the Wednesday um, off Elko Island and been camping here for three days, or two days. Two days here, Tons. Yeah, we've only been here for two days. Now, if you look at me, I am... Day three, I'm filthy, and I mean I'm filthy. I'm covered in bacon grease and you name it, I am absolutely filthy. But Tarns, on the other hand, is pristine and clean. Hello. So how does that work? I don't get it. She manages to stay clean and I get absolutely filthy. But anyway, no, because we don't get our house um, back in Nullanboy until um, today. So we came back here and we figured we'd just camp because it's a long weekend, because it's the Queen's Grand Final weekend. Um, and yeah, so we've just been chilling out here, doing a whole lot of nothing. Um, and you'll notice, I think Tanya put it up on her Insta. <laughs> Check out the digs. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty cool, eh? This is our ultimate supreme single axle off-road caravan. Now, one of the interesting things are all the campsites managed by Dimaru Corporation here in East Arnhem Land. Um, you can book online, but no caravans, okay? They very strictly stipulate no car caravans, mainly because you can't get into the areas um, with a big van. However, this little bad puppy is technically a camper trailer. So it doesn't have a toilet and it is single axle. So um, we borrowed this off some friends, Sarah and Glenn, um, just so we'd have a little bit more comfort. So it means, and interesting, we haven't actually been using it that much because the boys sleep in the swag and Tanya and I are in the rooftop tent and then we've just sort of had that for the cooking and, and all that kind of stuff because it just makes it a bit easy because it's got the fridge and it's got the gas stove and all that. So anyway, another beautiful day in East Arnhem Land. I tell you, it got up this morning and it was just wet. Everything, like your humidity is really coming in now. Um, and so yeah, we're just going to enjoy chilling back here. We've got the grand final this afternoon if we can get into our house. And then, yeah, I've got only three more weeks left in Gove before we're back on the road again. Go grab the caravan and start doing some other interesting stuff. So anyway, we're just gonna kick back and enjoy this. <laughs> I'm 
Yeah. Oil in my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> we have this spectacular lettuce. It's an iceberg. Picked it up from Woolies. It was like three dollars fifty. There was other ones that came in plastic bags, pre-wrapped, that was six dollars fifty. I went for the three dollars fifty one. Um, tomatoes. Trust tomatoes. Um, half a cucumber. <laughs> we call this a salad. <laughs> wow, catching gourmet right there. <laughs> Next level. <laughs> Next level. Check this out. Oh, it's a hard life. I'm like seeds in my capsicum. The trials and tribulations of making a salad, right? It's good. Yeah. It's good salad. I don't have water to wash it. I've got to. So, I would be starting this episode with some epic footage of us coming in here, some epic footage of, well, my big intro, a big intro, but an intro nonetheless. Um, welcome, 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 welcome. But however, see that? I don't know if you focus on it or not. So that is a flotation thing for a GoPro. Mm. And do you know what should be attached to it? Our GoPro. One of our many GoPros. But um, unfortunately... Our newest GoPro. Our newest GoPro. Um, we'd recorded all this stuff while we've been here and I tried to jump off the cliff. I did jump off the cliff. <laughs> into the water and I went down and it was epic and um, I came back up and Without unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately we have donated the GoPro to the Memorial Gorge because it is as we speak this very moment it is sitting about probably 10 or 15 meters underwater recording fishes fishes. It's probably very peaceful. It's Maybe probably very blissful. Now, unfortunately, the SD card on that GoPro, that's all about I see a crocodile just eat that GoPro. Well, hopefully it eats the GoPro the and not us. Might eat the GoPro, it might. So anyway, we'll have to start this whole thing again. And my other GoPros, I've, I've lost all the little, I'm going to need to buy some more. Okay, ow! Sorry, oh, man. About, I got him! Much worse. Damn. What's with that? Anyway. <laughs> so... <laughs> <Where's your flinch? laughs> yeah. Wow. Anyway, so I'll start everything again. We are at Memorial and... Anyway. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll do a welcome later. <laughs> anyway, it's amazing here. This is like top five. 100% top five campsites we've ever been to in our life. This has got to be one of the most amazing campsites in Australia. So you have to do a summary of everything that we've Oh no, I'll do it. So I'll, do it I'll do it later. I'll do it later. There's like a dirt track coming in and there's like a set up of the campsite. This is the life we live. It's a thing. Anyway. He's never said it before. Yeah, right, anyway. Um, and then there was a waterfall, was a waterfall, and then they were like blocking the waterfall, and there was a waterfall down, and swimming, yeah. and yeah. Yeah, all right, so. A lot of good stuff. I will try and. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm gonna edit it out.
better than this. I mean, uh, some, there are some times when you're traveling where you just like get to a spot and you just go, oh my God, it's just like, and we've had quite a few there. You know, a couple to mention like Melbourne Beach in WA and um, Mill Stream to Chester National Park at George Gore. It's like, there's just a few places that you just go, man, this is special. And this is 100% one of them. Check it out. And you've got the whole place to yourself. There's no one else can come here. No one else can camp here. It's just, <laughs> man, East Arnhem Land. I mean, this place is next level Australia. I just love it. Don't <laughs> <laughs> stand up in it. I just like I've got no pants on. <laughs> <laughs> no, the water's pushing me down! Now what are you gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do! Ready? Go! Okay, so... So we got down here... We got here at about 11, we got down here, sorry, we got here at about 10, we got down here at about 11, and it's now about five o'clock, and we're finally gonna head back up to camp and um, make some dinner. But man, I tell you what, magic, look at it. Just magic, absolute magic, so. And Tanza, she still hasn't, she, she hasn't actually put her clothes back on yet. <laughs> oh, what do you do, eh? Ah, dinner, marshmallows, campfire. So take two on the campsite front, and here we are, Memorial Campground. Uh, rooftop tent is set up. Swag is set up for the boys. We've been down at the water, like, it's just, down the water all day, amazing, amazing, amazing place. And so we're gonna have some steaks for dinner. Tons is making Cosmos and yeah, this is us. Oh, this is just an amazing place. Um, it's all sacred. Um, you can't go past the end pool because all that land is uh, sacred to the Yulunu. So it's like a $20,000 fine if you go there, but why would you? They've got signs. So uh, it's just magic, absolutely magic. So tonight will be campfire, a good feed, stars, peace and quiet. And yeah, this doesn't get much better, to be totally honest, it doesn't get much better. <laughs> What's your first priority? <laughs> no midges. No midges, no March flies. <laughs> Don't know if that's safe, Eli. Morning. 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 <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> I get the feeling you're trying to say something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, so there was a promise made last night. Is mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. What was the promise? You go swimming in the morning. We go swimming in the morning. I think it was before six o'clock was the promise. 
The promise was before seven o'clock. It was before seven o'clock, thank goodness. So it's before seven o'clock and it's a beautiful morning. Are we gonna go for a swim? Sound good? Mm. And there's pieces of leaf snowing. And there's bits of eucalyptus raining down on me. And there's leaves raining. And the smoke's now following me. <laughs> And so, oh, yelling. <laughs> and so that's it for uh, Memorial. As fast as we got here, we're leaving. Bit of a fly in, fly out. Um, looks like it's going to rain anyway. But what do you reckon? Ten out of ten. It might rain. What? Not the memorial. Oh, he said, "What do I reckon about the rain?" I don't know. Right. I'm not a meteorologist. <laughs> Shaman. <laughs> Shaman. <laughs> wow. Rain dancing. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Memorial Campground. It's really nice. Yeah. It's really great. It's worth coming. Yep. You should definitely come here. But you have to book. Yep. Well Six in months advance. in advance if you want a weekend. Yeah. But the weekdays are pretty free. But then you've got to come up to Cape Barnum to actually get out here. Arnhem Land. Anyway. We're going. Lucky last. Well, yeah, pretty much lucky last weekend here in Gove. So we thought we'd take the boat out. We're not going to go out into the ocean just because the wind's going to come up a bit later. But... We got a few marks, so we'll just have a bit of a bottom bash in the bay. Check out this morning. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. cha cha. Oh, what you got? Fish of the day. Puffer oh, puffer fish. <laughs> it's a puffer fish. I'll get him. <laughs> Good job, Charlie. First fish! Yeah. Nice work! That's a huge! Check out the size of this bad puppy! Puffer fish of all puffer fish! <laughs> Alright, let's pop him back. What to get, my boy? A card! Just look, pull him up. Really min, hold him up. <laughs> He's yes. probably not the cod that we're looking for. Oh, well, mummy's on. Oh, decent size. Oh, he's a swimmer. He's a swimmer. Go, oh, mummy. Not that big. Oh, fish, we're on the fish. I've got a puffer fish. Yay, tiny fish. Another rock cod. Another rock cod. Gold, gold spot cod. Look at that, yeah, eh? Yeah, they're he's out there. He's not my size, but he's, he um, he's not bad, actually. He's not bad at not all. Not quite big enough. You might make him a little bit bigger. These are some of the best eating you will ever get. Gold spot. So they're gold. The spots on them are gold when they come out of the water and then they slowly turn brown as they stay out of the water. There you go, but we want his big brother. Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly enough, back in the old days, he'd be a keeper for sure. <laughs> back when we had very low fishing expectations. <laughs> What'd you catch? A, a rainbow fish. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. fish, isn't it? It's only little. Well done, my boy. High five. He, he, he snapped in the water. <laughs> Look how pretty he is. Ah, crazy fish. Stuck your back. Go. Oh, little trevally. Trevally. That'll do. Woohoo. Dinner. Dinner. A little trevally. Coming through. Nice, nice work. <laughs> yes. Here we go, one. Um. 
heavy. Give me a shot. Oh. Uh, nah, should be, uh, should be all right. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, really in. Charlie, can you go real mine in, please? Ah, so I'm just pulling on this one. Huh? No, it, oh. Oh. Hang on. You got one there as well. Yeah, if you, do you want to wind it in, Eli? Do you want me to do that while you? Oh. You're a bummy, you're okay. <laughs> you're okay, Toto. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> oh, You've got the same one, yeah. Eli. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll take that, Eli, if you want to come and take the camera. Yeah, yeah I've got hooked up here, but that's all right. We'll grab the net. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Oh, here you go, shark. A little black tip. Yeah. Black tip shark. Oh, God. So I'll get him off. Um, uh, that's alright, right. don't worry about it. I'll get, him, I'll get him up, I'll get him up, get him over. It's on a wide track, so. Yeah, I know it's just don't want to bite me. Yeah, but if you take him in the boat, he'll bite you. Reach out. Yes, 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 stop it. Let's watch your feet. Right. There you go, a little black tick shark. They're gorgeous. Um, you look, you can, at this size, it's probably perfect eating size. Um, but yeah, we don't, we don't eat him. So we'll pop him back. Do you want to see him? Look at them teeth. There you go. Oh, yeah. Alright. Should we let him swim away? Yep. Yeah. Let him swim away. There we go. Oh no, no, he'll be alright. Yeah. He'll be alright. Yeah. Bye bye, Shark. Yeah. There you go. Oh, he's got a bit of a bite. Tell you what, this is what East Arnhem Land is all about. This is our. Well, we've only got a few more days here before our six months is up, but. You won't see it well through the GoPro, but the moon is setting right there. I should have put the tripod out because it's just, it's setting down through the clouds and it looks amazing. And then the wild tropical clouds behind us of the wet season, you'll see the sun rising just there. So, oh, look at the moon, guys. Well, let's see if I can get a photo. What you doing, my little adventurer? Uh -huh. How good's that moon set? Good. Yellow <laughs> crossbow always. It's beautiful. It's not there anymore. Ow! Yeah, that was literally an hour's face. Oh, you have t-shirts inside out. Do you know that? But yeah, I don't know. This is... <coughs> <laughs> You're right. How beautiful is this, yeah? It's a stone throw away from town and this is what you got. You just come out here, watch the sunrise, watch the moon set on a lazy, Monday morning. 
about half past six, thereabouts. Just go home and go to work. <laughs> it's so weird, like, I mean, you guys go back three years. Do you think, other than an ant? Oh, where was it? Get him? Good old green ants. We need to get some green ants in before we leave. Can you have a look over here? I did it. Three, three years ago. But, oh, look at them all. Wow, I'm spotting my armpits. <laughs> okay, we're getting attacked by ants. I won't get all whimsical. <laughs> Let's go home and get a coffee. <laughs> I don't like coffee.